So we've had a while to sit down and digest the Trailblaze mission. It was arguably mostly about Adventurine, and I thought it was very well told, especially the Adventurine parts in detail. But now we have a trailer for him, or a video about him, a moment among the stars, inherently unjust destiny. So didn't see this coming because it was at one o'clock in the morning for my time zone. But let's, uh, let's see if there's any more details that we didn't know about him before. Oh, triple faced soul, please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Hmm. Question. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Remember that? Are you your clan's sole survivor? <sighs> Perhaps. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you, you went did. and killed that man anyway. Perhaps it's a recap. You ought to represent yourself. It's Jade. I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assume now, mm. that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. That's not a dice, that's a coin. Oh, dang. That was quick. So, yes, if you did play the Trailblaze mission, you have heard all of these lines, actually. Um, what Sunday is saying to him was a series of questions when they were in the dreamscape, uh, along with Dr. Ratio. And he had he was very confident to start. And as the questions kept escalating, he kind of got more unsure. Which is I, I love the like, uh, what do you call it? The character building with adventuring because most of the time he is very confident and I think that's very easy to see just by playing the quest but there are times where he could shake it up and it's like I can't tell if he's genuinely shaken up sometimes or if he is you know just putting on a show you know what I mean but I'd say like 90 95% of the time he's so confident and it's like that that five percenter where he's like kind of shaken up whether like he's talking to his master from way back when, or when Sunday asks him about, you know, do you want to like basically destroy the world and stuff like that? I mean, even with Jade, he's confident as well. Um, and gets, you know, a little, little sentimental when he sees Kakavasha or like his little like kid self, but that's the first part. And then of course, Jade was talking to him once again, this is way earlier in his life. You can see he's still chained up about um how much money his his master was said he was worth and what he did to his master from back then and yeah the ending is more catered towards what happened towards the very end i'd assume maybe like right before and ironically enough maybe even after i don't know but it's a kind of a hard character to read which that's why i, I like the character for that reason specifically but um that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. And that was right after the question. Yeah, that was right after the, the Sunday question. Like, do you, do you wish or do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? And it's something that, like I said, it's such an interesting character because he says if there's a chance i can get that outcome that i'll take it but at the same time he's don't seem like a bad guy you know he's like a vigilante like batman or something or even like catwoman almost they want to get what they want but they don't really care about wrecking havoc you know because there's things that he wants to do that, that are good but Obviously, I mean, look at this picture, right? It paints the picture as if he's just the the bad guy of the entire series, you know? And we obviously know if we are caught up, that's definitely not the case. But I don't know. I just don't see Adventuring as a bad guy. And playing the Trailblaze mission, you definitely did not see him as a bad guy. And even towards the end, still, I don't necessarily see him as a bad guy either. So 
great character design, great character writing from Hayo for Adventurine, and um, I enjoy this recap of a trailer, genuinely. We need more of these, for, especially for people who have important points, because this was mostly about him in the Trailblaze mission. So, yeah, Adventurine, great character, great, uh, great writing for him. And I guess we'll see what happens to him in the next Trailblaze mission, because kind of a uh, kind of in limbo, so to speak. Don't know what exactly we got going on next. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about adventuring yourself um, and about the Trailblaze mission. That'll be all for me, and I will catch you guys in the next one.